Good morning, everyone. We've been talking about the carols of Christmas, those wonderful songs that remind us why Christ has come. And so we've looked at some, some have blessed us, some have gone on to become world peace songs. And the idea is as we sing these, we are encouraging and being reminded again that Jesus is the reason for the season. That Jesus has come to set us free. Jesus has come to bring us the Father's love, the Father's mercy. Jesus, to help us to know the Father personally. Today, we're looking at a song by Wesley, Charles Wesley. And again, the idea here behind this song is it's a Christmas carol, but in some ways, it's not a Christmas carol. And part of the idea there is that he has given us more a song about the incarnation of Christ. Now, the incarnation of Christ is simply the coming of Christ, his presence that God has come down and become like us. But in this wonderful song, there are six petitions in this song that help us remember our need for the Savior. Because each one of us needs a Savior. We need someone to save us from ourselves, to save us from sin, to save us from the enemy. And so the Father has sent his Son for that. And so Wesley gives us this wonderful little short song. It's a song, Christmas carol, but it's a song of the incarnation, the coming of Jesus. Here it is. Come thou long expected Jesus, born to set your people free. From our fears and sins release us. Let us find our rest in thee. Israel's strength and consolation, hope of all the earth you are. Dear desire of every nation, joy of every longing heart. Do you hear how that, that just speaks into where we are? Come, thou long expected Jesus, born to set your people free. That's you and me. That Jesus has been born to set us free from our fears and sins release us. Isaiah says that the people who walk in darkness will see a great light. That's setting us free from fear. Then to set us free from our sins, help us to rest in you, to have confidence and hope in you. He goes on. Israel's strength and consolation, hope of all the earth, because the Father has sent Jesus to save and to speak into every one of our hearts that we may know and enjoy the Father. Dear desire of every nation, joy of every longing heart, Jesus comes to speak there into us. And so we need, he is the joy of our heart. The desire of every nation. Every nation looks for, desires, wants peace. Jesus says, I bring you that peace. Come, thou long expected Jesus. We have been waiting. We've been waiting in darkness. We've been waiting in gloom, as Isaiah tells us. But then he goes on. Born your people to deliver. Born a child, yet a king. Born to reign in us forever. Now thy gracious kingdom bring. By thine own external spirit. Rule in all our hearts alone. Be thine our all sufficient merit. Raise us to thy glorious throne. The petition is there. Born your people to deliver. Jesus has come to deliver us from the evil. Yes, to deliver us from the oppressor, from sin, from the enemy. Yes, Jesus has come. He is a child. Born as a child. To experience everything that we experience. Everything. Yet a king. Not just the king. As today, you know, we have. King Charles has just been born, that was born to be a king in England. But this child was born a king, king of the universe, king of all creation, Jesus. Jesus, who's come, born to reign in us forever. 
Why? Because he is Lord, he is King, he is Savior, he is Messiah. He speaks all of that into us. Born a king, because he's born that you and I may have life, that you and I may understand and know the Father. Then the petition, bring your kingdom. Let us live with you. Bring your kingdom now, Jesus. By thine own eternal spirit rule in our hearts alone. I pray for you and myself. This Christmas that Jesus is the one who rules in our hearts alone, no one else. That there's no competition for him in our hearts at all. And by your all-sufficient merit, raise us to your glorious throne. You and I have no merit to get into the kingdom of God other than the merit that Jesus brings to us because of who he is. Come thou long expected Jesus, born to set your people free. From our fears and sins release us. Let us find our rest in thee. In him, we have merit. In him, we inherit the kingdom. In him, we get to heaven. In him, we know these things. At the beginning, I mentioned there were six petitions in this wonderful song about the incarnation, the birth, the coming of Jesus. Here they are. The first one, come, thou long-expected Jesus. We've been waiting. If you've been waiting to let Jesus into your heart, he's here. Let him into your heart. Second petition, from our fears and sins, release us. Because that's what Jesus has come to do. Third one, let us find our rest in you. Rest is the idea of distrusting the Father. Hebrews helps us here. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. We find our rest in him. Then, here's the next one. Now your king, kingdom graciously bring. Jesus came to tell us that the kingdom of God is at hand. How's the kingdom of God at hand? That he has come to usher us into his kingdom as his children, as his people. Because we have been released from sin, we have the Holy Spirit to guide us, lead us, direct us. The kingdom of God has come. Then, before I leave that, remember, the kingdom of God is a very present reality. Often we think of the kingdom of God as heaven. Now, Jesus has come to tell us the kingdom of God is at hand. Here's the next one. Rule in our hearts alone. Lord, help me to surrender to you my heart, that, Father, you know and walk and live in me. And then raise us to your glorious throne. Help us to have life with you. Jesus, guide us. Raise us, because you have made us your people by your birth, by releasing us from sin and darkness. Come, thou long-expected Jesus born to set your people free. Father, we bless you and thank you. Lord, for the wonderful hymns that Charles Wesley has written because of your prompting his heart. But Lord, as we read this and Lord, as we sing this, Lord, help us to know these petitions and make them true in our hearts because Jesus, you have come indeed to set your people free. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Be blessed today, my dear friends.